I have very distinct memories about walking on the shoreline. Mom and Dad did a great job with all of us kids about our love of the sea. When I was eight years old, I looked down in the water, and there was Stan Waterman with Mom and Dad scuba diving right underneath us. And I remember saying to myself, I want to do that. Childhood wonder, a life-defining moment. For Doug Talbot, gazing into that sea provided a glimpse into his future. 50 years later, he was reunited with the man who changed his life. I said, Stan, I know you don't remember me, but my name's, my name's Doug Talbot. And when I was eight years old, which was 48 years ago, you planted a seed and really inspired me to take care of the oceans. And I, I want to thank you for that. Gratitude paid in full through Doug's efforts to educate others on the wonders of the sea. As an underwater diver, tour guide, and teacher at the Georgia Aquarium, Doug educates thousands of visitors on the importance of conservation, protecting the same waters that inspired him as a child. I do it because it's a passion, and I do it because uh, it's an unconditional passion. Um, and that's what I love about volunteering. He's probably volunteered about 11 hundred hours since we opened in 2005, which is a very large amount of time. He really cares about the aquarium, he really cares about people, and he's really dedicated to our mission and our vision, which is to be the world's most engaging aquarium experience. I think first of all, I've always thought of the aquarium as this wonderful combination of uh, Disney World and the Smithsonian. It's, it's this lovely, educational, entertaining environment. And we see so much learning. We see so much excitement from the kids in particular. We know when their eyes light up and, and the questions we get from them. How do I know if it's a female or a male? Okay, now if it's a male, it likes to watch a lot of sports. And like the children he educates, Doug also relishes the intimate and unique experiences his work affords. I was scrubbing one of the rocks down there, um, this was several weeks ago, and I felt something bump my leg and I looked down and there was, there was Maris. Maris is our, is our youngest beluga and she's about 12 years old. And she had turned upside down and literally her face was right here. And she was talking to me and she was going, <laughs> like that. And so I looked down at her, and of course, you know, as a diver, you have a regulator in your mouth. So I looked at her and I went, I have no idea what I was saying. And after about five seconds, she reared up and she kissed my regulator. I'm the only diver she has kissed. And I've just, I've been on this beluga high ever since. So I finished the dive. I, I ran over to the telephone. I called Rosie, my wife, and I said, honey, I got good news and I got bad news. I said, the bad news is I've been kissed by another female underwater. Dead silence. I said, the good news is she's eight feet long and weighs 950 pounds. <laughs> Though humor and levity serve as an effective teaching method, Doug Talbot's mission is serious educating future generations so that they may enjoy the oceans he loves. Sowing a seed that was planted in him so many years ago. We must rehabilitate the oceans. Our livelihood as a species, um, as a human species, depends on it. Um, it's not just a case of looking at pretty fish. The point is we have to take care of it uh, because if we don't, um, the consequences could absolutely be devastating. I hope that one day somebody comes up to me and says, you know, 48 years ago, I was at the aquarium and you planted a seed and that seed has guided me. That would be magical.